African airline. The current strategy is to create locally incorporated airlines to operate services using a common branding, operational standards, as well as sales platform. KTN's Joy Doreen Bido spoke to First Jet's general manager, John Kors, on the airline's calls. In the wake of increased airlines plying the East African skies, low-cost carrier FastJet identified its niche, the low-cost traveler. The airline chose Dar es Salaam, Tanzania as its first operating base in Africa, with flights from Julius Nyerere International Airport commencing on the 29th of November 2012, sparking a ticket pricing war in the region with relatively cheap fares. So far, we have uh, increased uh, up to four aircraft now plying as far south as Joburg and as far north as uh, Nairobi and as far west as Entebbe. All right. Initially, flights operated successfully between Dar es Salaam and Kilimanjaro and between Dar es Salaam and Mwanza, but the Airbus flying airline has now added to its destinations the Dar es Salaam Nairobi route to leverage on the increased business transactions by the rising middle class. The one hour flight offers fares exclusive of taxes. If you were to review our, the accounts of our major investor, which is FastJet PLC, on the London Stock Exchange, you'll see that, that so far. Um, we have not yet made a profit, but we are hoping to break even this year. After winning Africa's leading low-cost airline award at the 23rd Annual World Travel Awards held in Zanzibar, the British low-cost airline could see a crystal ball soon with its low-budget flights identity. Joy Doreen Bira, KTN News.